Okay, everybody, we're going to start part two of chapter five, which would be the applied part of the nutrition. So building on everything you've learned regarding the macronutrients and micronutrients, so the basics about fats and proteins and carbohydrates and water and minerals and vitamins. Now we're going to actually take them and help use them in our diets. So we've already talked about the fact that the standard American diet, the SAD diet, is full of a lot of um, processed foods, lots of sugar, not a whole lot of greens, not a whole lot of fresh vegetables. And so the idea is to try to um, change that diet to whole foods, real foods, foods that are actually grown in nature, um, foods that if they're from animal products, they're tried, um, we try to grow them uh, in the most healthy way possible. So for example, cattle that are fed on grass as opposed to corn, um, they actually, their body has a different body composition. So when we eat their meat, there are more healthy fats as opposed to more inflammatory fats. And so for years, it was always you are what you ate. Well, now it's you are what you ate ate, meaning it matters if, if you eat meat, it matters what that animal ate because that impacts the quality of what you're eating. Um, it matters whether the food is nutritionally dense, meaning when you take bites of it, are you getting lots of your macro and micronutrients that you need? So what we're going to do in this video is talk about um, my plate. So my plate is talked about in the chapter on page 110. And the idea with my plate is um, the government likes to give recommendations to help based on the research and the evidence. And they had something called the Food Guide Pyramid for years, and it confused a lot of people. And as they understood more, they decided to actually give a visual called a My Plate. And it is a circular plate with different colors for different macronutrients and different types of macronutrients. The thing about my plate is it um, people have a hard time determining a serving size, so like how much is one serving of broccoli or rice. For example, if you go to the Olive Garden and you get a pasta dish, guess how many servings of pasta is in a pasta dish? Eight. Eight. Yeah, so if you think you're only getting one or two servings, you are completely underestimating how much food you're eating and how many calories you're consuming. So they realize that Americans have a hard time doing that. I mean, I think no matter what country you're from, it's hard sometimes to do that. And not everybody can just um, measure things out all the time. So what my plate does is give you this visual of how much you should have of different types of foods. So if you look on page 110, you'll see that the plate, about half the plate, is fruits and vegetables. And vegetables are the bigger portion of that half of the plate compared to fruit. And you've learned already why. Both fruits and vegetables have nut nutrients in them, but fruits are pretty high in sugar, whereas vegetables are not. Vegetables also have more of your um, phytochemicals and phytonutrients, which are those antioxidants that help heal our body. So um, looking on page 110, in the upper left corner, you'll see that fruits and vegetables make up half the plate. Then you'll see there, there's room for grains, which are your complex carbohydrates, and the other half is protein. And most people get the protein in the form of a meat. So when you think about different meats that you might choose, first always remember it matters whether or not they uh, or it matters what they're fed. So if you can find grass-fed meat, um, that's always better um, because they're eating lots of phytonutrients as opposed to if they're getting corn. Corn is um, not very nutritious for the um, cattle or chickens. Um, now, one of the most interesting things I want you to notice about this is that dairy is the liquid that is on my plate. So you want to guess why dairy is on there? Well, it's on there because of food lobbyists. The dairy industry has lobbied the government and won. You would think that water would be on there and not dairy. As a matter of fact, 
milk is the one of the most common um, allergens that people have. And so it's really interesting that dairy made the my plate and it's really because there's a very powerful lobby in the dairy industry. So um, this is a really good visual when you're working with people or even when you're looking at your own plate. Take a peek at the next time you eat and see if half of your plate is fruits and vegetables. Um, the other interesting thing, you can actually go online and go to um, My Plate for Athletes, and you can see based on what type of um, training you do, how this could be tweaked or adjusted um, for being an athlete.